Okay, today we're looking at the Cherry MW2110. It's basically a wireless mouse. You've got the wireless receiver there, and you've got this ergonomic design, so it's pretty much straightforward, a wireless mouse. So let's have a quick look at the box. As you can see on the box, you can see the mouse itself. It's usually roughly to scale what the pictures are on the box and what's in the box. You've got a picture of the Nano USB receiver. On this side it's just got the barcodes and the small picture of what's basically on the front. On this side you've got another picture of the mouse from a side view. On the back you've got all the specifications. The bottom doesn't have, have much on there and the top just says cherry. Inside the box you only have two items, one is the mouse itself and the manual. So it tells you basically how it works, but generally wireless mice are usually pretty easy to use. This device is retail priced at £12, so that's pretty good. If you look online you'll probably even find it cheaper than that. Let's take a closer look at the actual mouse itself. As you can see you've got your left button, a right button, you've got a wheel which is also a button. It looks like it's got a little LED indicator there as well. It tells you the model number across the front, as, long as, as well as the name Cherry. On the side, you can see it's got a slight wave design there, but there is no side buttons. And the other side is identical, so ideal for you lefties and right-handed people. Um, also on the bottom, you've got a DPI button, as well as an off button. You've got your sensor on there, and then you've got your button on the bottom to get the nano receiver out of the mouse or change the batteries, which you basically push that button down, the top opens up, and that basically will let you see the batteries. When it does come off, there you go, it wasn't straightforward. Uh, so it shows you the battery there, So and then you've got your little nano receiver there as well which will just plug into your uh, laptop or PC uh, and your battery is there it's got one already in there and there you go you can see that flashing LED light on the top so to turn it on and off you've got a little red button on the bottom as well and it also doubles up as a DPI button you can change the DPI on the mouse between 1000 1,500 and 2,000 DPI. The total service life of this mouse, so the amount of hours you can actually use it for, is supposed to be 366 hours. I'm not sure if that's with the battery what's included, or with a better battery, who knows, but it says it's 3,660 hours. According to them, if you only use the mouse for one hour a day, for 230 days a year, the battery would last at roughly 18 months. Obviously, if you're going to be using it more like six or seven hours a day, that time is going to be drastically less. The wheel on the mouse is chrome-plated around the edges and has got sort of a rubber center for easy grip. It's ideal for left or right-handed people, so you can use it however you wish. Again it's quite small. It's smaller than an average mouse but not as small as some we have seen. So it's ideal for carrying with a laptop to use on the move. And apparently the wireless receiver will work up to 10 meters away so that's pretty good and it works on a 2.4 gigahertz technology. So again pretty nice mouse. It's 12 quid. What can go wrong?